Hey, welcome back guys. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet subscribed. Thank you to all my subscribers so far. Okay, so let's continue with our tutorial. So let's log in here and fix a few issues that we have. So I will add my password there. Okay, and now that we are logged in, I can easily go to the admin area. Or before I do that, actually, let me go. What I want to do is change some of these uh, images here because I had a complaint that these images are too, some of them are too racy. So let's see what we can do about that. So I will go to products here, view products. And uh, while we fix one issue here, as we change these images. So the thing is, if I click on a product edit here, I want to be able to click on browse here and then have this image uh, changed over here in real time so that uh, once I replace one of these images, I can see it right there. That would be a big help. So we can easily do that with uh, a little bit of JavaScript. So let's get into it. So what I will do is uh, let me go to my text editor here and let's go to this section. So inside the views admin, let me go to the product.php, exactly. And then let me look for the edit because this is the part that we need to do this kind of thing. So our images are going to be here. So this is image one and is of type file. So what happens is when we add an image, we evoke the on change click event. Oh, it's not a click event. It's just an event, which is the on change event. So what I will do is I'll add an on change event, which I will then refer to a specific function. So I will say something like, um, oh, wait a minute here. Let me check on something. Okay, so this is where our products are going to display, okay? So I know that I'm going to have one, two, three, four images. So which means when this is working fine, I will have four children inside this div right here. So we can use that to change what appears there. So what I will do is on all of these, I will put my, I want to hold down control so I can select multiple segments, but it seems I, I keep holding down shift. So I'm holding down control here so I can edit there. And I will add an on change uh, event like that. So on change, and then I'm going to create a specific function. So I'm just going to call it change image. Or I don't know, maybe display image is more descriptive. And then what I will do is I will send in the event because it will contain information that we need okay so here what we will do is once we display the uh, we activate display image it can send us two items actually so the first thing we need is to have that one file uh, the that was added there the first file that was added to this so uh, this input file input has got just like it has type of file here and name image it's got an attribute called files which holds all the files in there so we want to get the first file and send it together with the event okay so maybe we don't even need to send the event so what i want to do is to be able to know which of these was because they are sending this information to the same exact function but I want to be able to know which of these actually sent that information. And the th one thing that uh, sets them apart is the name 
parameter here because the names are different. There's image, there's image two, three, and four. So we can use that to our advantage. So instead of sending an event, let's just send actual data. So what I will do is I'm going to say this dot files like that. And then I just want the very first file like that. So I can do that and then put a comma because I want to send something else. And this time I want to send the name of this attribute. So I'm just going to say this dot name. This is how you send the attributes of that particular item. Because once you are inside this on change or on click or whatever, what is inside here is JavaScript. Okay, so this is why this is possible here. And let's leave it at that. So I'm going to put uh, to create this function right there. So what I would do is go down here and create that particular function. So anywhere here will be fine. So I just want to put it right at the end, uh, which I have no particular reason why. Let's just put it somewhere here. So I'll say function display, and then I will put my cursors there like that, my brackets. Okay. So instead of saying this dot file, I know what will be received here will be a file. So I'll put file and then here I will put name like that. That way I have both of these right there. Okay. So now the thing is um, in here we'll have, okay, let me come back here for a second. I want to find a way uh, of determining this. So I know there's image one, there's image two. So let's just say if name is equal to image like this, then I know it's the first item that I need to add here. So I'm just going to say var number is equal to uh, zero. So let's start at zero because arrays in programming languages are zero based. So. I will put another if statement here. I'll just copy this one, lower this down here and paste like so. And then I'll do another else if like that. That's two, three, and then finally the number four. Like that. Okay. So instead of setting it like this, let me um wait a minute wait a minute let me put this at the very top here okay so so image if it's equal to image then number will remain at zero so i've put it outside here because i want to initialize it so that regardless in case it doesn't move through any of these i'll still have number down here already set so if name is equal to image, number is equal to zero, but number is already zero, so we don't need to set that. So what I will do is just uh, remove uh, remove this one. I'll just put number two there. This start at two, three, and then finally four. Then I can remove this like that. So if it's image, it will remain on zero, and then, or if it's something else, then let me do that instead of uh, I will just say number is equal to one and of course I will copy this number is equal to two uh -huh. and then here number is equal to three so it's off by one because of the zero based uh, thing there so the reason we are setting these numbers is because I want to be able to select one item in here so Let's come up here so that I can uh, remind you what we are doing. So in this div right here, we're going to have image number one, number two, number three, and number four. So I want to select this item and select the children in here and select a very particular child and then set the source to the image that was sent. Okay, so let's do that. So I want to grab this using the JS product images. This is the class that I will use to grab this. So what I will say is I will say var uh, image like that. 
is equal to document dot query selector and then here i will say um i want to select dot js because it's a class product images like that okay so this is images because this is uh, we want this to be an array oh actually this one should be the image holder like that okay now the images themselves is going to be equal to image holder dot query selector but i want to get everything in there so i'll say query, query selector or like that and then now i don't the items in there won't have any ids or classes so but i know they're going to be images so i'm just going to say img like that and without putting a dot or a hash then that means i am using the tag to get these items so here that's what it's going to be so images and then now we'll use this number as the index so maybe we can call it an index instead so that it's easier to remember what this is about so that will be the index which will get the image uh, that we've been given right here okay so here what we want to do is get the file this one here and create a url to that file so that we can actually display it so what i will do here is i will say something like images right and then i will use index of course dot source is equal to okay so images index dot source so i'm getting the source of because i have grabbed several of these and so this is an array and i'm getting one item from the array and grabbing its source and setting that source to file that should do it but i don't think this will work at all but let's see it in action refresh and let me click here so now i will browse for image number one but as long as we get a reaction on this then we know that uh, we are on the right track right so i'll do that and as you can see this image has indeed disappeared if i click on this uh, number two will disappear if i click on number four and so on so which means uh, we are on the right path it's just that we are not giving it the required information so so here what i want to do is convert this to a url so i will say url dot create object url i hope this is correct if it's not correct it won't work it's been a while since i've used this so we are using the url class to create a an object url so you can google uh, this in javascript what uh, this can do so that you know what uh, what more you can do with this so let me just refresh my page here click here click browse and add another image and as you can see the image is different there now so at least now i can tell exactly what i am changing my images to like that okay so that works better but this is not uploaded yet so i have to click save in order to change these particular images but uh, yeah actually let me just hit uh, save here and as you can see the images have indeed changed so if i click here i will see that uh, they have changed so let's do the same for these guys uh, let me add a different front product here since the front is what shows uh, the front of course like that and browse uh, there we go save and get all the offensive images out hmm. yeah indeed i kind of like this one in the beginning anyway it doesn't matter uh, these are just uh, images here oh before i get carried away here okay so we've changed all that well and good okay so if we now we go back to our website so if i right click here and say open in new tab 
you will see that uh, we have different images this time around. Okay, so this is all good. But if I do click on one of these images, click, uh, I get to this point where everything seems to be working fine. But like I said, if I type in something where the image is not found here, uh, wait a minute. No, it still actually works because this is uh, not a number. So I will put an actual number there and then we'll get an error here. So if it doesn't actually find the, the item, we get all these errors here. And so we're going to fix all that. But before we do that, what I want us to do is change this number to an actual text that represents the product. Okay. So like women's top here, I want the URL to have that as well. So we'll do that in the next video.